Objective 1.3, explain how changes in microscope technology, including electron microscopy, have enabled us to see the cell structures and organelles with more clarity and detail than in the past and increased our understanding of the role of subcellular structures. So in 1665, a man called Robert Hooke built the first microscope. He looked at many things down his microscope and drew them in great detail. For example, look at this fantastic flea. Hooke's microscope used a lens at the top, called the eyepiece lens, and a lens at the bottom, called the objective lens. And that made things appear 30 times larger, so times 30 magnification, by magnifying the light that was passing through those two lenses. Modern light microscopes work in the same way as Hooke's, but just with more powerful lenses. To calculate the total magnification of the microscope, you multiply the magnification of those two lenses together. So if you have a times 10 eyepiece lens and a times 40 objective lens, the total magnification is times 400. Hooke's microscope was groundbreaking and allowed scientists to see structures they had never seen before, but a 30 times magnification was not that powerful due to those poor lenses. Antoine van Leeuwenhoek invented much more powerful single lens microscopes that could magnify up to 270 times, allowing him to famously discover microscopic organisms in a drop of water for the first time. Now it's not only about how much bigger an image is, but about the detail that you can see that image at. We call this level of detail the resolution. Okay, look at these two images here. They look quite similar, but look more carefully. One is a bit blurry, a bit pixelated. It's a lower resolution than the other one. In terms of a proper definition, the, re the resolution tells you the limit that two objects are still seen as two separate objects. Any closer than that resolution limit, and they will blur and just be seen as one. With the improvement in lenses and the use of stains to highlight specific structures more clearly, modern light microscopes have a magnification of times 1,500 and a resolution of 0.0001 millimeters. In the 1930s though, the electron microscope was invented. Now this uses beams of electrons rather than light. They can magnify up to two million times and have resolutions down to 0.0000002 millimeters. Often you are asked to calculate what magnification an image is shown at, or perhaps to calculate the actual size of a specimen when you know or have been given the magnification. To do these calculations, you will need to use what is known as the I am triangle. I stands for image size, A for actual size, and M for magnification. It allows you to rearrange this equation depending on what you need to calculate. For example, if you want to calculate magnification, you do the image size over the actual size. If you want to calculate the actual size, you do image size over magnification. For example, if you got asked what is the actual size of this bacterium, well, we are given the magnification, which is times 2000. So we just need to measure the image size using a ruler. So you get a ruler out, measure the length of that bacterium, and then we can plug that into our equation. It measures 45 millimeters. The actual size is therefore 45 over 2000, which gives you 0.0225 millimeters.